I'm in our classroom. I'm in our loft space. So a few years ago, uh, Mr. Silvernell, he's a teacher in the high school, his class made this for us. Or maybe it was just one kid. I don't know. Anyway, super awesome. And we use it as one of our centers during center time. Up here we have, um, oh, there's a move over there. Now. We have our kitchen set up here. So there's a stove and some cabinets and a refrigerator and a sink and lots of pretend food. And there are aprons you can put on and you can make food for our friends. And see there's some stairs and a, um, hand, a handrail right there that you come up with. And there's some babies up here and a high chair and a crib for them to take care of them. So this is another fun spot from our classroom that you'll get to play in when we get to come back together. So this is the start of our day. It's Wednesday. Um, so we'll go over to the board now and look at our daily schedule and our calendar. Now we're over here. Let's say good morning to all of our friends. Michael, Addison, Moses, Jonathan, Claris, Gabriel, Evelyn, Haley, Logan, and Anais, Trinity, Emilio, Janie, Mrs. Shores, Daisy, Brandon, Amaya, Eva, Christian, Sky, and Francisco. Good morning or afternoon to all of you. Let's see what we're doing today. I wonder if it's the same thing we did yesterday. Guess what I got in the mail? Our weekly readers, well, I called them weekly readers when I was in school, but um, I think they're called Let's Find Out, but they have some science in them and some social studies. And I saw a very first one is about pumpkins and we get to learn about pumpkins. So I'm excited for those. Those will come out in your October packet on Friday. Um, and then in October, we'll start doing those. Okay, I'm way off schedule. Today's schedule, class meeting, morning work, reading group, literacy block, math, and writing. Um, let's do some calendar. Remember yesterday, we got to do our loud voice. Let's see what today is. Today's our excited voice. Are you ready? Oh. I'm so excited I didn't even put the day in yet. Let's put, I am, I have lost all my marbles. Here we go. Okay, that's today. Excited voice, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Today is Wednesday, September 23rd, 2020. Um, let's get ready for reading group time next. Let's do some morning work. Purple packet. We're on day 12 today. Remember yesterday we started doing new things on the top and the bottom. So look at the object, copy that object in the box below it. So here we have a circle. Now I am not great at making circles, but I'm going to try my best. Mine's not super perfect, but I tried my best. 
Next, we're going to make this. So we'll start up here and make a straight line down. Pick your pencil up, go over here and make a straight line across. And last, we're going to make this. So we'll make start up here and make a slant line this way. Pick up your pencil, start here, make a slant line this way. We copied each of our shapes. Then down below, we'll do the same as yesterday with a what doesn't belong. So we're looking for things that belong with an apple. We have a zebra, an apple tree, and a bucket of apples. Hmm, which one does not belong? I think it's the zebra. An apple, an apple tree, and a bucket of apples would all go together. Then down here we have this building. Then we have a police officer, a building, and a building. Which word did not include the word building in it? Police officer. These buildings belong together. Maybe they're part of a town. So now you can um, go back and color in your pictures if you want. Ta-da, reading group time, orange packet. Oh, a new prelude that looks like this. It says prelude. C magazine. See the letter C right here? Um, let's write our name on it. All right, and then we'll go through and do our introductions. My turn. I'm Mrs. Shores. Your turn. Ready? Begin. Very good. Today, we're starting on this sound. This is an M. An M says M, like monkey on a mountain. You say that monkey on a mountain. Monkey and mountain both start with mmm. Let's go up our ladder. Ready? Begin. Woof. I. A. Meow. Mmm. Oink. Mmm. Let's do that one more time. Ready? Begin. Woof. I. A. Meow. Mm. Oink. Mm. Very good. We're going to turn one page. We're going to keep practicing that new sound. The heart row is where we'll begin. Touch the dot under the first sound. Ready, begin. Mmm, glue, I, mmm. Let's do that one more time. Ready, begin. Mmm, glue, I, mmm. Star row. Ready, begin. Mmm, a, ah, girl. I. One more time. Ready? Begin. M. Mm, a. Girl. I. Very good. Down on the smiley face row. Here's a picture word that we haven't started yet. So see this person has their fingers around their eyes like this. 
When we see this picture word, we'll say see. So what does this picture word show us? It shows us the word see. We're going to stretch and shrink see. Ready? Begin. See. E. See. Let's do it one more time. See. E. See. Very good. Now let's stretch and shrink. I'm from our front cover when we introduce ourselves. I'm. I. Mm. I'm. One more time. I'm. I. Mm. I'm. Very good. Now let's count those. So let's count the sounds in the word C first. Ready? What's the first sound? E. Do that again. S. E. Two sounds in the word C. Next, let's do I'm. I. Mm. One more time. I. Mm. Two sounds in the word I'm. All right, we're gonna flip it over like a pancake and start a new story. Our new story is called The Little Farm. No more ants. This is Farmer Jones. Touch the dot under the picture. Who is this? This is Farmer Jones. Touch the dot under the next picture. Farmer Jones lived on a farm. His farm was a quiet place. So who is the story about? Who's this guy? Farmer Jones. Where did Farmer Jones live? Farmer Jones lived on a farm. I wonder what we're going to learn about Farmer Jones and his farm. Tomorrow we'll learn a little bit more, but great job today in reading groups. Ta-da, here's my face again. So um, just like we've been doing this week, we're gonna work on beginning sounds of words. And I want you to be able to see my mouth to um, see what my mouth does when I make these beginning sounds. So I'm gonna say two words and I want you to listen to my beginning sounds and tell me it, well, you'll show me with your thumbs up or your thumbs down, if my two words start with the same beginning sound. If they start with the same sound, you'll give me a thumbs up. If they don't start with the same sound, give me a thumbs down, okay? Lost, left. Sing one more time. Lost, left. Did those start with the same sound? Yes, my mouth said oh at the beginning of both of those words. Okay, next are buttons, back. Watch one more time. Buttons, back. Did those start with the same sound? Yes, my mouth said b at the beginning of both. Okay, watch again. New, lose. One more time. New, lose. Nope, those didn't start with the same sound. Road, right. Watch again. Road, right. Those started with the same sound. How about bush, rock. Bush, rock. Those didn't start with the same sound. Found, four. Found four. Yes, they start with the same sound. And our last one for this part. Feet ride. Feet ride. No, those do not start with the same sound. They start with the same sound. Okay, now I'm going to show you a picture. And you are going to listen. This is a Bag, bag. Now I'm gonna say two words and you have to tell me the word that starts with the same sound as 
this, okay? This is a bag. It starts with the same sound. Big, little. It starts with the same sound as bag. Big or little. Say bag, big. Bag, big. Start with the same sound. Let's do another one. Desk. Say desk. Okay. My words are back, down. Which word started with the same sound as desk? <coughs> desk. Back or down? Desk. Down. Start with the same sound. Let's do one more. Pale. Say pale. Okay, now listen to my words. Patch. Dirt. What rhymes with pale? Patch. Dirt. I think it's pale patch. You say that. Good job. All right, it's time to do our literacy block practice in our packet. There's this pink piece of paper. We're going to pull out two pieces like this. So we'll put our name on this page. And on this page, we'll cut out the pictures. Remember how we keep our thumb up when we cut? And how we'll keep a nice pile for our pictures. I should have cut these ahead of time. I don't know what I was thinking. And today we are going to go up to five syllables. I think the highest we've gone so far is four syllables. All right, I'm going to just put them all out so I can see them. And I'm going to need my glue stick. So this is the spot for words that have one syllable, two syllables, three syllables, four syllables, and five syllables. My first picture is a fire truck. Let's clap out fire truck. Fire truck. Three. It's actually two words, but here we go. How about flower? Flower. Two. Scissors, scissors, two. Refrigerator, refrigerator, five. That's the most we've ever done.
lamp. Lamp. One. Motorcycle. Motorcycle. Four claps for motorcycle. Tree. Tree. One for tree. Umbrella. Umbrella. Three. Let's do butterfly. Butterfly. Three. And our last one, watermelon. Watermelon. Four for watermelon. All right, we're not done because down below, you get to think about a word that starts with one, or a word that only has one syllable. Think about a word that has one syllable and draw a picture of it here. Draw a picture of a word that has two syllables here and draw a picture of a word that has three syllables here. And if you want, if your grown up can, um, take a picture of it and put it on Class Dojo so I can see what your words were that you chose. We're gonna start today with my little bowl and some piggies. One, two, three piggies. I'm gonna put my piggies in my bowl, shake them up, and then I'm gonna dump them out like this. I'm gonna line them up. Touch and count, I'm gonna touch and count my piggies. One, two, three, there's still three. What if I put them in my bat, in my cup again, I spill them out, and they're just like this. Are there still three? Yes, there are. What if I get another one? So I had three and I added another one. So how many do I have? Four. Okay, I'm gonna shake those up and spill them out. Do I still have four? One, two, three, four. Yes, I do. What if I shake them up really good? And spill them out and I line them up from top to bottom. Will I still have four? One, two, three, four. Yes, I will. Let's add one more piggy. One, two, three, four, five pigs. What if I spill them out and I line them up side to side? How many will I have now? Will I still have five? Yes, I will. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's count how many boxes we have. One, two, three, four, five. There are five boxes. I'm going to use my dots to fill some of those boxes. How many dots? One dot. How many spaces? One, two, three, four blank spaces. One and four. How many dots? Two. How many blank spaces? One, two, three. Two dots and three spaces. Now how many dots? One, two, three. How many spaces? Two spaces. How many dots now? One, two, three, four dots. 
and how many spaces? One space. And let's count the dots. One, two, three, four, five dots. And how many spaces? No spaces at all. I have some bears here. They went to the park and they wanted to play on the merry-go-round. Pretend like that's a merry-go-round, even though it's the cup from earlier. <laughs> All right, let's count the bears. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, wait. I didn't stop. Um, what is something I could do to count when it's in a circle and it could just keep going around and around? Could I, I could like mark where I start, couldn't I? Like I could put a pen right here. Here's where I'm going to start. So I know not to count this one again. One, two, three, four, five. That works. I could start on this red one because this is the only red one. One, two, three, four, five. I could do that too. Um, I could pick one up each time. One, two, three, four, five. Those are all ways to count. When things are in a circle, sometimes it's tricky and you just keep going around and around and counting them over and over again. Um, so the bears were going really fast on the merry-go-round and they fell off. Whoa. Let's count to see if they're doing okay. One, two, three, four, five. I can count them just how they fell, right? I could also line them up. One, two, three, four, five. Um, are there any groups that you can see here? I could put them into groups, couldn't I? I could put like the red bears in a group and then the yellow bears are in a group. So I have one and one, two, three, four. I could put them in groups by how big they are. These are big bears. And these are little bears. One, two, three big bears and two little bears. There's lots of different ways to count, aren't there? And there's lots of hidden groups inside the big group. We're gonna do some practicing with that now in our workbook. Oh, we've done a lot, haven't we? Okay, we're on. Lesson 10, which is on page 43. It looks like this. The first thing we're going to do is get our crayons out. Choose one color, whichever color you want. I think I'll choose, what haven't I used in a while? Red maybe? We're going to use the same crayon the whole time. It says color one circle. So color one of your circles. Then in this one, it says color one star. We're going to do all of the coloring first, and then we'll go back and use our pencil on the next part. One star. Then this one says color one circle. And if you need to pause it so you can finish your coloring, you can keep doing that. Down here says color two stars. I have a 
a hard time staying in the line with stars. The little pokey parts are hard. Coloring two stars. Next, we're going to color two circles. And the last one says color two stars. Okay, when you're done with all of those, you'll get your pencil. And we're going to count how many there are all together and circle that number. One, two, three. We know we have three all together. We have one red and two plain. So our hidden partners are one and two. Over here, let's touch and count. One, two, three, four. What are our hidden partners? One and three. In the circles, let's touch and count. One, two, three, four, five. Can you tell me our hidden partners? One and four. Down here, touch and count the stars. One, two, three. Circle the number three and tell me our hidden partners. Two and one. Let's touch and count the circles. One, two, three, four, five. What are our hidden partners? Two and three. Our last one, let's touch and count the stars. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, find the number five down here. What are our hidden partners? Two and three. Very good. Okay, now down below it says we need to draw two circles. So draw two more circles. Then we're gonna count how many we have all together and circle that number. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. We have five all together. Then let's see. Homework. All right, you're going to, for homework, if you choose to, you don't have to do this part, you'll color one circle in each of these boxes. Then you'll circle the number that you have all together. It's the end of our day. We're wrapping up our Wednesday kindergarten. Let's um, look at our ABC tracing book. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. Today is L. L is only straight lines. All right. So our capital L starts at the top, straight line down, straight line across the bottom. Lowercase l, start at the top, straight line, down. Wow, that was fast. Let's practice them.
capital L. Lowercase l. This is a pretty quick letter today, isn't it? There aren't a ton of lines that we have to do. Down below, you'll color in the circles that have the capital L's and lowercase l's. Then you'll come up here and color in the pictures of things that start with the L sound. Lighthouse, lettuce, lid, lunchbox, lamp, lollipop, lion, lemon, ladybug, all start with L. So you'll color that in. 